There are at least three different types of error which must be considered in construction design. Mill tolerance refers to the variation inherent to materials which result from manufacturing processes. In consideration that concrete, steel, aluminum, and glass are derived from fluid states of matter, which are liquids, dimensional tolerance in their solid forms should be anticipated. Fabrication tolerance. Fabrication tolerance refers to the variation inherent to measuring, cutting, and fastening processes which are applied to materials. In consideration that tools and machinery used to fabricate imperfectly dimensioned materials are themselves manufactured from imperfectly dimensioned materials, dimensional tolerance in the relative locations and sizes of fabrications should be anticipated. Erection tolerance. Erection tolerance refers to the variation inherent to the placement and fixing of assembled materials. In consideration that fabricated materials are imperfect and that these are located and placed relative to other imperfectly dimensioned materials, dimensional tolerance in the location and orientation of assembled components should be anticipated. United Facility Guide Specification 061000 identifies tolerances for rough carpentry. These are framing members which will be covered by finishes such as wallboard, plaster, or ceramic tile set in a mortar setting bin. Studs are permitted to be one quarter inch out of plumb in eight feet. The face of framing members is permitted to be one quarter inch from a true plane in eight feet. Plates and runners at the tops and bottoms of wood framed walls are permitted to deviate one quarter inch from a straight line in eight feet. And the layout of walls and partitions is permitted to be one quarter inch from the intended position. The Steel Framing Industry Association identifies that cold form steel framing is to be installed level plumb and true to line to a maximum allowable tolerance variation of 1 8 inch and 10 feet. Individual framing members should be spaced not more than plus or minus 1 8 of an inch from plan location. The American Concrete Institute identifies allowable tolerances for masonry in their standard ACI 117. This standard identifies that masonry surfaces may slope with respect to a specified plane at a rate of 1 quarter inch in 10 feet. This applies to walls and columns and their horizontal boundaries. It has the effect that openings may vary in size by as much as a half an inch and that openings may be warped by as much as a half an inch in 10 feet. The allowable tolerance for reinforced concrete is similar to the tolerances set out for masonry. What's noteworthy is that the locations of openings may vary by as much as one inch from the locations identified in the building plans and that the size of openings is afforded a tolerance from a quarter inch undersize to a half inch oversize. There are no standards for structural steel. They can pretty much just put it wherever they want. Similarly, there are standards which apply to glass and glazing systems. The maximum variation of mullions from plumb or horizontals from level should not exceed plus or minus one eighth of an inch in 12 feet or plus or minus a quarter inch in any single run. The maximum variation from plane of the glazing system is therefore limited to one eighth of an inch in 12 feet of length or one quarter inch in any total length. The maximum allowable offset from the alignment of adjacent framing members is one sixteenth of an inch. That means that joints between metal frame elements should be aligned with one another, but in any case, a misalignment between adjacent framing members should never exceed one sixteenth of an inch. In order to allow adjacent construction materials to finish to one another, it's critical that we anticipate and allow for a tolerance in the dimensions of construction materials. 
A failure to properly anticipate the amount of tolerance required by construction materials will often result in collisions and headaches, including the requirement to reorder materials or to make modifications to their sizes in the field.